Pneumococcal disease is a common and contagious disease caused by the bacterium known as pneumococcus. It can cause a number of invasive infections, including bacteremic pneumonia, blood poisoning, and meningitis. Adults who are candidates for pneumococcal vaccination today would not have received pneumococcal vaccination as a child. As Dr. Vivian Brown explains, this poses a real threat for many adults, especially those over 65. Pneumococcal disease is a common disease in the community. It can present as pneumonia, which some of us are familiar with, or something called septicemia, which is a bloodborne poisoning, or even meningitis. Those people most at risk are young children or older adults. And for those of us who are over 65 or have a chronic medical condition, such as diabetes or asthma or certain other chronic diseases, are advised to get immunization to lower their risk of getting pneumococcal disease. The most common form of pneumococcal disease in adults is pneumonia. In a recent survey, only 55% of Canadians knew this serious illness could cause hospitalization and death, while 29% had never heard of the disease altogether. With the lack of familiarity of the vaccine, most adults aren't properly protecting themselves. Actress Jane Seymour knows firsthand what it feels like to suffer with an infectious disease. Maintaining a healthy mind, body and soul have always been a focus for me especially as a busy working mother of six. I always eat sensibly, since proper nutrition is key to overall health, and I complement that with aerobic exercise, light weights, and plenty of Pilates to keep my body in shape. As I age, I recognize the importance of taking prevention seriously. This includes vaccinations to avoid some serious health issues. As a mother, I understand the importance of vaccination for my children, although there's a lot of confusion on the subject when it comes to adults. Like the many Canadians identified in the survey, I didn't know much about this vaccine-preventable disease or realize how devastating it could be until I became ill with a type of pneumonia. Being a mother of six, this was a scary moment in my life. But now I've learned it could all have been prevented through vaccination. I wish I'd known that beforehand. Vaccines are an important element in preventing pneumococcal disease because they work with the immune system and help your body make its own antibodies that are directed against the types of pneumococcus bacteria in the vaccine. The vaccine helps to reduce the risk of life-threatening illness by preventing diseases caused by the most common types of pneumococcal bacteria. In a recent survey, 82% of Canadians aged 45 to 74 said they had not been vaccinated against pneumococcal disease, and half are unaware that routine vaccination can help prevent it. Deborah Douglas now knows the importance of being properly protected and has incorporated a healthy lifestyle to her pneumococcal prevention plan. I was hospitalized for pneumococcal disease and spent six days in hospital and found the recovery process slow. And I was really relieved when I spoke with my doctor to find out that there was a vaccination. As a nurse, I didn't know that there was a vaccination and suddenly to find out that there was a way of preventing pneumococcal disease was a great relief to me. Um, I have also been very careful following being so ill to uh, eat properly, to rest and uh, take time to uh, exercise as frequently as I can and to make sure when I talk to my doctor and go for regular checkups that uh, I get um, the vaccination to prevent pneumococcal infection. With pneumococcal disease resulting in over 1.6 million deaths per year worldwide, it's important to not take chances with your health. Speak with your doctor to discuss which adult vaccines are available and which ones are right for you. Martin Vanderwood reporting.